My name is uh, Frédéric Guillaumeuf. Uh, I'm uh, taking care of the promotion of the HDR technology for Philips. And uh, what you are looking here is uh, actually at uh, two displays of uh, different uh, dynamic range. The left one has a high dynamic range and is displaying a signal at 2,000 nits. On the right hand, you have uh, just a standard dynamic range uh, TV set that uh, was bought uh, only uh, a few days ago, and that is displaying the standard dynamic range at 150 nits. So, the um, the demo that we are showing here is actually the, the signal which is being transmitted is an SDR signal. Uh, it's transmitted by the box that you see just under the left display. Um, this box is, uh, is uh, sending SDR plus metadata to the, the, the board that you see on the right side. And this board is uh, decoding the, the, the data, re recognizing the uh, metadata, and uh, reconstructing the high dynamic range signal for the left TV. And for the right TV, it is just displaying the uh, standard dynamic range signal. So basically, this demo is showing the backwards compatibility of the Philips high dynamic range technology. Uh, it's showing uh, that uh, with a very simple single layer, 10 bit, um, single stream um, technology, you can achieve a beautiful high dynamic range signal at the same time as uh, just a normal standard dynamic range for the legacy TVs. And you can also transmit it the other way as, as an HDR signal with metadata that can derive the SDR signal. Yes, that's, that's the, the other uh, demo that we have, which is not the one which is displayed now, mm -hmm. but uh, it's possible to, to have a demo showing that uh, uh, the, the, the box is sending high dynamic range data and the, the board is going to use this, this uh, high dynamic range uh, signal plus the metadata that's going to use. The metadata are going to be used for bringing down the signal to the standard dynamic range on the, on the right side. Right. And when you, when you compare the HDR image uh, from both methods, which one's superior? So basically, they are, they are exactly uh, equivalent um, because uh, the same metadata is being used. What is important is that uh, on, the, uh, on the, I would say, on the HDR to SDR um, uh, uh, mode, hmm. basically, which is what we call the mode one. Okay. Uh, in this mode, you, you don't care about clipping and about the SDR grade because the SDR grade can be anything. You always start back from the high dynamic range data and then you bring it back to standard dynamic range. So whatever the grade of the SDR is, is really not important. For the mode two, for the, the mode where we start from the SDR and we go up to the HDR, yes. here we have to be careful when we grade the uh, SDR. Uh, the, the, that, that this SDR master is graded and still has all the information needed by the, by the system to uh, upgrade to the high dynamic range. Okay. Okay, so basically it's, uh, it's just a, a little bit of constraints at the uh, grading, uh, uh, for the grading uh, uh, operator, uh, which is, are included in the tool that Philips provides. Those constraints make sure that the, this tool, sorry, make sure that those constraints are uh, just uh, followed, mm -hmm. that uh, and that these limitations are taken into account. And uh, for example, there is no hot clipping anymore. Right. Uh, the, the the clipping will be a, a soft one in a in a nice way that all the information remains in the SDR grade, and then yeah. we can send the SDR grade like like we should like we are showing here. We send the HDR grade. It's being completely backwards compatible for the uh, SDR TV, the legacy TV, and it's being fully reconstructed with a beautiful image for the right. dynamic range. Now, you have to start, for, for either mode, you have to start with an HDR 
uh, master file. You can't start with an STR file, correct? Um, you can you can do it. You can start from a high dynamic range file. Uh, you can you could imagine to start from the SDR um, from the SDR uh, file as well. But you'd have but, to make creative decisions because the information is not there. Yeah, exactly. You you make sure that. Uh, the, the SDR has been graded in a nice way, uh, in, mm. a, in a way that all the information is kept in there. Right. So basically, the, the safest way is always to grade from HDR to SDR. And by the way, I think this is the way the, the studios have uh, anticipated it. I would and think so. Great. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Uh, thank you, Chris.